Okay, so we've got the AC power plugged in and we've got the three remaining cables, right? Two USB, one HDMI. So we're going to plug these into this laptop now. I'm going to plug the HDMI in and I'm going to put in the black one, which is the uh, The ramps board and then put in the blue one which is projector and then I'm going to fire up the Kudo 3D control software actually before we do that I'm going to check my display settings and I want to be on extended desktop then I'm going to go into the Kudo 3D control software. Probably cannot see the screen, um, and that's okay. You'll have to follow screenshots from the from the documentation. I'll connect. Whoops. Com5. Yep, there we go. Com5. And then for projector control, that's probably Com. It's not also COM5. Click the port button. It found the projector on COM4. And then I will power on the projector. So when I do this, the screen will flicker because Windows is detecting that the second monitor has turned on. And then when I hit connect at the top, all this uh, stuff on the screen will show up indicating that I have connected to the, uh, to the board. Um, your Z position should hopefully have been zero um, when you started. Um, if not, you can do hit enable Z0, maybe go down a little bit, disable Z0, and you want your Z pause to be zero. And then we want to make sure that when you click this up button that our linear stage moves up so I moved up by nine millimeters then I moved down by nine millimeters and now I'm at, I'm at my virtual zero when I keep hitting down nothing more happens and then I've got the projector running now I can click calibrate and that will project the calibration grid into the build area. So I'm going to leave the projector the way it is now and I am going to first install and level the build plate. Now we have two build plates here today. We've got the large build plate and we've got the small build plate. So we're going to need to be up here now at the at the uh, linear stage, so I'm going to raise the camera up so we can get a better view of what's going on from the side here. And we're going to install, let's start with the small build plate. What am I doing? I have to click. This is not a touch screen. I probably didn't need to go up this much. So now, while this guy's going up, I'm going to screw and tighten the build plate on, and I'm going to make sure that the ball here is totally loose. Right? Oh, and I forgot something. I forgot to fully tighten these guys up here. So let me do that. There are various procedures that might use these, but the procedure we're going to use today does not involve
the use of these four screws. So I'm going to just put them in the bottom and then tighten them up. This is good and tight. We're going to leave this loose and then we'll roughly level it with the bubble level so we don't push too hard on the film when we, when we get there. So we just need to kind of get it roughly level and that's good enough um, so we don't, we don't push too hard when we go back down. So remember the ball is loose. Now we're going to go down. the bottom now of my soft zero so now I have to hit enable Z zero and then now these zero changing buttons appear the zero changing buttons now will reduce the zero point which is stored in software by the amount indicated based on the button I hit so I'm still pretty far out so I'm going to Z zero minus ten twenty And then now I'm going to go down one millimeter at a time. And now I'm pretty close. I'm going to start moving tenths of a millimeter. Okay, so you probably didn't notice, but I saw that I've touched off against the vat now. The V2 vat has pretty soft silicone. So when you look at the surface of the silicone, it will deform when you go in. So that one 0.1 motion, that deflected the silicone. I, I saw the reflection change a bit as I hit that. Um, and, and so I just touched it, but when I feel the top here, right, it's still, it's still moving. So that was just, you know, there was one edge that touched off. So now I know I'm really close and I'll keep going down. I moved another five. And this feels pretty firm now. So I think I'm doing pretty good on level in that my build plate is now firmly against the surface of the vat. And so that's good because now I have the build plate on the same plane as the vat. I'm gonna slowly and gently tighten up the, the ball There's a pretty good chance that this is also um, the correct level for zero. Um, I can barely get wedge a piece of paper underneath this, um, but you know the silicone is flexible, so um, I'm probably pushing down on the silicone a bit. My bill plate is firmly down, and then the key thing now to look at the edges is to make sure that you're not accidentally lifting any corners of the film. And you want to make sure that you aren't pushing down so hard that you're deforming this film on the side. I could go down a little bit further maybe. I'll go down another 0 0.1. What am I doing here? And nothing much moved. And it's pretty tight. So I think this is pretty good. This is a fairly decent zero level. 
So here now I'm going to hit disable Z0. And this is my, my zero point. All right, now I have it set for this particular head with this particular vat. And that means I can go up 30, And then I can pretty confidently now hit go Z home and it should go back to where I set the zero to before. Okay.